guys, it's me, Pori, and guess what? Today I'm gonna do a tutorial for you. A tutorial which is based on ZBrush, because it seems like many of you having troubles with starting off uh, with some sculptures. So I thought I'm just gonna do a tutorial instead of just explaining in comments what you should do and stuff like that. So uh, without any further ado, let's just start. So what you wanna do? Um, is just go to document, go to new document and you're gonna have a new document uh -huh. so what you wanna do next you might wanna import some reference images for yourself to help your your quickness or whatever so what you wanna do first you might wanna go to flat color so it won't get messed up the colors in the reference image whatever so go to document, import, and just import a reference image, whatever you like. For example, this is the reference image uh, of my previous videos, the X model. If you haven't seen it, just go and check it out. It's on my channel. But uh, yeah, we're not going to need this for today, so let's just go and have a new document for now. Uh, so what you want to go and start with, you want to go to there, to, to the simple brush, click on it, Hold it for a second, release it, and go to Z-Sphere. It's right in the middle somewhere. So, next up, you want to go click on the canvas, drag it up, and hold shift so it's going to snap into the middle. So, without anything at all, don't do anything. Just go to Edit, or just simply press T. Now you can do whatever you want on the canvas. You can do anything. Now we'll go to the material, so you just um, get a, a bit nicer looking material like the basic material or just matcap grey. Um, so the next step, what you, what you want to do. Uh, but first of all, I highly recommend you to just start off with a head sculpture or maybe put, some, uh, put a chest and shoulders on it but you definitely don't want to start with a full body sculpture because you're gonna mess up you're gonna get disappointed you're gonna stop and that's not good for anyone right so just start with a head sculpture simple as that okay so what you want to do just go and press X to activate the symmetry or just simply go to transform activate symmetry and X so next up you want to go you want to make sure it's on draw mode or just press Q and drag it up click and drag right here now what you want to do just create the shoulders and the chest so you want to do that now it doesn't look like a chest right and a real good simple base mesh so you want to just edit it a little bit so when you want to go to move tool, just drag it out, drag it right here. Just really play around with it until it looks like a, a good little base mesh. So we have this base mesh uh, made out of these fizz, right? You want to go to draw mode and you want to press A. So you get the base mesh that you can sculpt on, but you don't want to sculpt on it, right? You want to go to go and but wait, once you're happy with what you've done, so it looks something like this, you want to go to make polymesh 3D, and as you can see, we made a new layer called PM3D Z Sphere, and that's what you want to uh, sculpt on. You know, it only has 338 uh, polys, which is a really uh, low poly mesh. But that's fine because uh, we're gonna go to B and V on the keyboard, so you get the move brush. But you can also click on the brush and just go to move. But you might wanna learn all the shortcuts for the most common uh, brushes and also the shortcuts for these. And yeah, it's really easy. You're gonna get used to it in no time. So what you wanna do is B and V. Just bring up the the draw size like that, and just go like that. Oh shit! Sorry. 
since we made a new layer, you're gonna activate the symmetry again. So you, you might uh, you might want to go to press X, or just go transform and X symmetry. And now what you want to do is just create a little bit better uh, base mesh that looks more like a chest, a shoulder, and a head. And also, it's really important to to move the mesh. Uh, I mean, rotate it all the time so you don't mess up, right? like this also you can smooth it out with uh, holding shift as you can see it's really cool when you're creating these meshes but what you want to do now is just create a really basic and simple uh, mesh here that looks like a chest, a head, and a shoulder. Alright. And now we're pretty much done with it because we don't need it to be really complex and it shouldn't look like exactly like a like that. Okay. Alright, that will do for now, right? It kind of looks like a head, shoulders, and a chest. So, what you want to do is just go to Geometry, Dynamesh, and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you another way to continue from now. But, uh, this time I'm going to show you how to use Dynamesh. So you want to click on Dynamesh, right? And also, if you want to get a little bit more resolution, you can go up a little bit to like 350 and go to Dynamesh so you get a little bit more poly group, poly, poly points or whatever. So, what you want to do now, you have the symmetry on, right? So, what you want to do is go BCB, which brings up the clay builder brush, or you can just go and press on clay build up. And you simply want to just sketch on your base mesh. So you get a little bit better, uh, better result, and it's gonna look more like a, um, a human body, sort of thing. And you also uh, rotate it so it won't like get too bulgy and stuff like that. As you can see, it's quite cool. And you don't want to use uh, the smooth brush now at this point too much. You can, but you shouldn't really, because it just messes up the whole project, and you're gonna get confused and stuff like that. It's just much easier to to just go like that and get the basic proportions of the head and all that. You can go down a bit. And it really just about how many hours and days and everything you put in a project. So if you just if you're a background if you're a background designer, you might gonna be surprised how how long it takes because a background design takes um, I think less than an hour, maybe an hour, but these models take like days, I guess. So it's really not like a, a background. But yeah, so this is like a, a basic looking head and all that. So yeah, as you can see, it's not too bad compared to how much time we put in it, around 3 minutes or so. So uh, we already got a cool shape, which isn't that good, but hey, it was 3 minutes. But yeah, it's really up to your creativity and all that. 
So yeah, just keep on practicing, never give up. If you think it looks bad, it doesn't. Trust me, you just have to keep on doing that and continue and it will look fine. Maybe you want to put like extra 15, 20 minutes and it's gonna look perfect. Just never give up. It's it's really gonna look like awesome. So yeah, it's all about dedication and everything. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, I might I'm probably gonna do more tutorials uh, from now on. But please let me know what you wanna learn in the comments below. And also another useful tip for Dynamesh is uh, if you mess up the mesh. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I mean by that uh, with the snake hook brush as you can see it's really messed up here and you might gonna come across with that problem um, so what you wanna do if you're in Dynamesh uh, you have to press control or command and just drag down the the canvas anywhere and you're gonna get a um, less messed up uh, thing here you wanna just move it out a little bit go again smooth a little bit here go again smooth go again smooth go again and as you can see it's fine it looks good it's not messed up and everything so it's really easy to just fix these problems with Dynamesh if you're not in Dynamesh don't even try the technique because it's not gonna work okay just go in Dynamesh if you have a problem it's gonna it's probably gonna smooth it out a little bit like the lines that you made with the clay builder brush but it's fine you can go over it again and just get the lines down and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it and the snake hooks shortcut is B S H and you can create really cool horns with it and everything. And you can just deform the whole, whole mesh. So <laughs> yeah, that's ugly and stuff. Okay, so that's it for today. New tutorial is coming out soon and I'm out.